This is a silly make normal taste, boys, but I got a bit torment with the reply you made. I'm going to start with would you gully and giant have made the tape? You said from you come Michael, so Michael's other day, you won't have an hour's luck, and that's the truth. Get, get a candle lift for yourselves because you're a show and the world knows you're a show. Now, first of all, you're getting Collins from every corner of Dublin trying to drag him in. Fair enough. You are fighting Christy Joyce's grandson's bar one, that's who you're fighting. And while there's a breath in our body, boys, you will never, ever be able for us. You won't beat us. And we'll see on the 29th of Manchester, you chose Manchester, you chose the 29th, yeah? We'll be there in a day, and the fight, the order of the fight, we'll fucking choose. You won't have any of your own fucking way. We'll be there in a day, and we'll see who the fucking men are on the day, the 29th in Manchester. We'll see you make sure and be there, Mrs. Paddy, to get that off me, because you are getting it 100%. I am busting your brains in, you baldy prick. Be in Manchester 29th, Johnny and, and Q and me, who's fella, Michael, you have your fight, the boys are going to fight you, you're, you're calling out for fight, invincible man, you're calling out for fight, and no one can see you, but you have your fight now, you're going to get at Manchester on the 29th, we'll pick the order of the fight, or how we want to fucking go out. Alright, this goes to Q's boys, this is me, Michael, you're saying you asked me five or six times to fight, this is, I haven't seen you get on a video at all now, ask for fight, right? Well, I've set the challenge, you, Johnny, I told you about you, you'll, you'll, ask, you'll ask for fight, I asked you to fight, you said you, you agreed in the cameras you'll fight, you've made loads of it, I'll fight, I'll fight, I'll fight. Then you change the fight again. This is what you do, Johnny. You do it all the time, mate. You keep getting on the cameras. You're just making an easy yourself. This is all you have with Johnny. Go. Right, this is me, Joyce's Anthony, yeah? I accept your challenge, Patrick, yeah? Patrick Collins, All Islands champion, my balls. I'll fight you, no problem. Be ready, yeah? Be ready. Here's my brother Teddy, but he wants fight as well, yeah? You're good for nothing shite shit. Right, listen to me. Listen, boy. Shite. You're looking look for fights, you're looking for easy wins. Right, Christy's fighting uh, Johnny. He accepted his challenge. So, wait a day, if you're more my match, come out to me. You're a big long facing yeah, and you'll see who wins the day. You dirty tramps bastards. How do you answer us? No, one more thing. I asked you, Long Michael, you were there to fight me, and you wouldn't fight me, so you wouldn't. I asked you, Kiwi, you wouldn't fight me. You got a fella 10, 11 years younger than me to fight me. But I promise you, mate, as I said in the last video, Mrs. Paddy. John Paul. Mrs. John Paul, whatever, whatever you call anyway, right? You're a prick. Yeah, right. Listen what I'm telling you, mate. My ass is a bit so over your last few weeks of training. So it is. But it's all good fun, mate. It's all good fun. No pain, no gain. I am going to beat you. And Kiwi, you had your son the other day on the video with um, Gowley in the back of your house. Well, at least when it's done in my plot or whatever you want to call it, Sheb. So it is, right? I show me face, so I do. You're the one that's behind the camera. So when you're not accepting the challenges, not coming to the camera, don't be holding the camera, mate. But I told you what. And another team. Yeah, the win. Red Christie's married to your daughter, right? Kiwi, he's your brother, right? Your sons keep coming on the video. Oh, forget about Christie, not worth talking about. But I tell you what, he was good enough to marry one of you, so he was, wasn't he? Now, if I had a son, um, a son in law, a Collins, when I like. My nephew's running them down the dirty water. Listen, mate, we could say plenty, plenty on these tapes. We won't say it. There's one thing we could say, but I won't say it. And it's, it's one of your nephews, Kiwi, so it is. So I'm telling you now, keep at it, and we'll let you know so we will. Yeah, pricks. And another thing, I'm 32 years of age. You open the door, you have a young man who I boxed 10 years ago and bet, yeah? Fighting my uncle Timmy, a man of 45 years of age. Beat ya. Oh, he's, got, he's, got, he's better chance of beating than losing. But uh, it's open the door that when I see a man of 45, well, I'll drive that through his brain. You won't be happy then. Slap them. Beat them. Because, because none of you come out to us. You won't, you I'll, you're you're shit. You're only the old child, boys. Listen, I'm, I'm only getting more tormented than you. Just be on the 29th, boys, and watch what's going to happen. Right, this is me, Patsy here. This goes you, Bull John, wherever you're fucking called anyway. I want to fight Michael. I want to fight Michael. Michael's I want to fight you, right? Do you hear me telling them the same day, the boys? I want to fight any one of you Collinses. Anyone. This goes you, John Paul. Slaphead. Wants to fight me Uncle Timmy ten years younger. You wouldn't come out to me ten years ago, would you? Because you know you're dirty, cowly bastards. And I'll say one more you're thing. you cowly bastard. I'll say one more Come out to the right, man. Bid you cowly no, coin. And I'll man you. you it's no freak. good prison you're on. But what I will say one thing. I've got a brother, Michael, right? That was as good as man that you'd ever get in the ring and out the ring, right? He gets on well with all you boys, so he does. Long Michael, Kiwi, Caesars, had drink with us, no beef. He had the cheek the other day, right? His son, Terry, no more than myself, has never laced a glove up. His son, Michael, a quiet, harmless boy. You've asked for fight. You've asked them two boys to fight. Now, boys, listen, all joking aside, right? We'll pick our matches, we'll have a fight. Whatever, right? Win, lose, or draw. But you, you know, you, you're punching 
load up at me. I you are, you, you, you're being dosses. You're being Trump for what you're doing. This Stop what you're doing. Uh, this is Nelson's this is Michael, right? You challenged me. I had no beef with you. You got in the tape and challenged me. Because he's daddy. Me. You, Nelson. It was you that put him up to it. But Michael, on, you I him? promise you, Michael, and I swear on my sister's grave again, you will get to fight in your life. As, and Joey's Johnny, I was the one that said with the hearts of the Oxford Joyces, we have them. I'm not a big man. I'm five foot eight. You're six foot four or five. You challenge me. You have it all to do. You have it all to prove. I promise you I'm beating you, Michael. And Mrs. John Paul, you're not going to be a young man all your life. I promise you when you're hitting 43 and 44, I I'll come for you then. You you're Q a body bastard. Q Kiss Q my hole. Huey, I'm the one age, I'm the one age, I'm letting you know now, right? Yeah, he's 45. The, he's you're, Q's 45. You're only age. nine years older than me, right? But I promise you one time. someone to fight you, Johnny wants to fight you. You are dead, you. I promise you, you and Nelson, you're, you're, you're dead. dead. If it takes you five years, it takes you ten years. I am going to get you. Put your life on that. Put your bet on that. Right, Jamie, I sent for you. The reason why I sent for you is because your brother got involved by sending for Christie. No That's need. the reason why I sent for you. You come on a videotape the other day, then call me names, saying that being manager. So I'll be there in the day, you'll be there in the day, and we'll see who'll win the fight. And, and he's best you, fat ass, you oh, fat oh, hip right. shite. This is me, Michael's John, this one's sometimes Patrick. All islands, my ass. I asked you to fight because you, you, your brother's got involved. For no need. For no need. Right. We'll be there in the day, John. Accept the fight, obviously you've accepted it. Be ready, no excuses. I'll be there on the 29th because I am beating you, genuinely beating you, you, you fat head. And one more thing, Solomon's John Paul, I haven't forgot you, Sol, I haven't forgot you, right? I'm not going to repeat myself because you're not worth, you're not worth the steaming me piss. But when the rest of you can challenge fellas a lot older, and you can challenge fellas that's never even laced up a glove, right? Softly. Why didn't you shite hawk challenge me, you'd love to slap me? Well, listen mate, whenever you think you're ready to beat me, Challenge me, like the rest of them challenge me. Because I am beating Mrs. Paddy, Mrs. John Paul, and then if you think you're man enough, you challenge me as well. You're fucking, you're f fuck no. In fact, you know, Martin, the man who loves going the on gold, the video, the, the gold. And we call you gold, Mo. If you had to shut the gob in the very beginning, this would never happen. No, in fact, you know, Paddy. You called me the other day, Paddy, the Coley's man in Oxford. Let me tell you how cold you are. You remember the last time we were fighting there 10 years ago? You rang up Paul, you're looking for a fight, you did. Yeah, Paul said he fight you, no problem. But then you got, you rang a week later then. The, the coward you are, you wouldn't fight him. No, my brother John Paul will fight you, I'll fight Patsy. No problem. Then you got the man who's shown you fair play then, the day before the fight, to ring up again. No, you won't fight Patsy. My cousin Patrick will fight him. But you knew Patrick wasn't he, and I'm not on this video to run Patrick down, fair play to him, went out and done his best. Yeah, but you knew Patrick was getting there and it wasn't Patsy's match, you were his match. But no, you thought I'd be a coward and wouldn't fight you. But your little plan never worked, did it? I went out and I bet you. And the same thing I'm going to do again. So I don't know why you're calling it Cowley. You know I'm not Cowley. So of course I'm going to fight you. I bet you want, so why wouldn't I fight you? Yeah, fucking fool, yeah. Now this goes to you, um, Tight Eyes Johnny. You're saying I'm afraid to fight you. Johnny, I had no problem fighting you, Johnny. I just said, like a broken down record player. Mikey Christie Manchester, Mikey Christie Manchester. You accepted our Mikey challenge, no problem. But Johnny, keep switching the fights like a gobshite, as you said. So I have no problem fighting you. And you remember your QB, I shipped off a QB, wouldn't fight me. Now I'll tell you one thing, your QB can't be 17 all his life. Because your QB, I ain't coming and I ain't bait you. So I fight you, um, Johnny, on the 29th. And now, um, you, Wavy Davy, when, when I meet you, I'm baiting you. So that day, I. I, I'm not no machine. I'm a man. Yeah. Right. Johnny, listen to me. You're saying I'm six foot seven. Do you know if I was six foot seven? Listen to me. Six foot seven or four foot seven? I still bait you, mate. Listen to me. Me and you got a problem. It's like me, me and you fighting, and then me asking for your brother Kiwi. You know what I mean? You're the youngest fella. Listen to me. Me and you all want to fight. You ask Christy to fight. You know what I mean? You don't do that, Johnny. The person you argue when you fight with him, mate. It's me and you on the phones. It's me and you on these videos again, calling each other names, mate. Look, I'll fight you. You'd see the brother, the invisible fella. I would fight him and I would bait him. But Johnny, get off the videos, mate. Trust me. You're a fool. Johnny, back again, you Johnny, yeah? You're saying that, anyway, I ain't fighting Johnny, you're saying a heart box of Joyce. They ain't not fighting. He's a fighter, I'll tell you one thing, Johnny. You're only gonna fight when they get you. You tight, I don't believe that's this bastard. You said you're gonna slap me daddy with your left hand when you get him. On, on, on his best day, your worst day, you beat him. Well, as he said, challenge him now. But John Paul, you said, as my daddy said, hit him to the ground, false him when you see him, because he's gonna kill you. Well, that goes for me as well. Because I swear on my life, John Paul, there's going to be a bad end to you, and will he just be the man to do it? Well, I'm going to hurt you. No, man, back to you. I will see you, John Paul. Now, you're on the tape, you're all upset because oh, you're calling in, we calling in first. You go back to the video you made in Manchester by yourself. Oh, you the one who cut that calling the yeah. names, the Go. cowards and the smackheads. Go. Are you listening? 
you were the one who started it. And back to your four men, you're showing the camera on the yacht. Yeah, we said four men. But Mrs. Paddy was the very man who said four men was bringing him the story. And I tell you, him, that's why he didn't have to fight. He must have changed his mind, I don't know what he done. So that's why we asked for the four men who was bringing the story. But you're very adamant, none of you brought story. So what are you getting involved for and, and looking for a fight? Trying to make money yourself. Well, trust me, come the 29th, Martin, you, me and you, as you, I told you first, you keep saying we're going out first. I know that because I told you that already. Me and you are going out first, and we will see who's the man with your big horses straight them out. And, and these fights are not getting settled. No. You, we and you, Martin, are fighting one way or the other. And one more thing, goalie. You're calling me the coach. Well, I'd rather be called a coach than a kebab head than a goalie belt. like you. You talk the talk. I'm seeking your walk the walk, mate. Because I'm going to be honest with you, mate. I'm interested to see you. Because if you can if you can fight half, and I mean, no, quarter as good. If you can fight quarter as good as you can talk, John, you're fucked. <laughs> so I'm interested to see you, mate. Yeah, I know the rest of you, well, whatever, can fight a bit, a little bit, yeah. whatever. But I just want to see you yeah. because for the last two years, all I can see is on the video. Well, come the 29th, you're fighting John, oh, and your own people you? knows this. John's not a sausage, right? So we're not. None of us are sausages. We might look a bit kind of sausages, so we might do. But we're not sausages, right? And as I said a minute ago, me ass is bits over you as we're training. But it's all going to be good fun. We're all we're going to come back. The 29th, we're going to win. But there's one fight I'm going to sit down and watch is you. So, Gowley, sit in that. Hold on one you... second. And the fight ain't getting called off. Remember that, Collins. Remember that. Listen, but Sean, go out to him. He's, big, he's the same size as you, a big, fine, strong man. Oh. Wavy David, come out to me on the day and we'll see who'll win the fight, you dirty prick shit. Up yes, the fucking Joyce. Good for nothing, yes, scum you. Up Oxford. All Ireland, oh, my ass. Oh, 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 fucking Joyce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paddy, come out on the 29th, Paddy. Like I said, I said a good few times. Come out on the 29th, Paddy, for your baiting, yeah? And if you're a better man than Paddy, which I hope you have, because he's good for nothing, he's getting better in a quick time, send him out, because you're having a man able for me, because well, I'm beating the whole lot of you, you shit. Yeah, you shit, you little well, shit. Mike, hey, Chewy, listen to me, Chewy's fellow, Mike, listen to me, you are fighting a video, mate, listen to me. Me and you, we're fighting a video, we have to fight a video, man. Because that's all you do. You have to get on the videos, have a fight, mate, that's all. Right, listen, one more thing, feet. yeah? Go feet. One more thing, yeah? Listen, one more thing. Up the fucking Oxford Joyce's. We are the best, you dirtbag.